Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today's video is about creating websites and web design with a hero image. And I want to talk about a few points that you need to consider when working with uh, hero images in web design and what you can really do inside Sketch to create a cool looking header and like a hero image um, with some basic content and maybe even with like a call to action to directly get your users onto the next step. So what you need to consider when working with hero images inside Sketch or general in general when creating a web design is to make sure that you have your call to actions above the fold. You need to make sure that the user on whatever like screen, whatever device they are using, that they can really see like a button or a description and not just the photo. Um, when I created Sketch App TV two years ago, I made a small mistake by just um, placing all of the content, like the free resources, below the fold. So they, the user couldn't really see all of the resources that are available to him or her. Um, what I then did was to move everything to the top. I even got rid actually of the hero of the hero image and i try to just uh place everything place the content which the site which the website was about um into the direct uh like viewpoint of the user and um it that doesn't mean that hero images and heroes in general are bad but you need to make sure and consider a few things to get the user not just not just to see the image but you want them to actually experience a great website. And that means providing some content. That also means providing um, like a call to action. And I think we can just do a few of these things that I just told you about by jumping into Sketch to create something. So hit A to create a new artboard and we are just simply this time going, we are going for the desktop HD method, just like that. So we have our artboard right here. And of course we are going to make it larger um, because we want to have some space. So I'm doubling it like about that. Of I just want to show you a small little tip. You can also multiply and also of course divide your values inside Sketch. So that really, uh, that's really a neat feature. Um, so yeah, we have our artboard right here and we are working with a hero. So at first we need like a logo that we need to slot in. And that's why I'm going to grab one of these icons. So uh, we can like use the icon as some sort of a logo. I'm just using this one like that. And we are going to place it at the top. We need to make it bigger of course as well. Maybe like about that. And um, let's just place it somewhere around here. Reduce it a bit. And um, this is going to be the logo. We can of course also add some text like uh, the point, whatever the point is. Um, we are just making a point. <laughs> so this is going to be the headline. You can also increase the size a little bit, like about that. It doesn't have to be perfect now just for this tutorial because I'm actually, it's actually about the hero that we are going to work with. Um, I'm simply copying the text so we can use it like as a navigation. And I'm changing the weight. So this is like home. Then um, let's add some more. Let's say this is services or let's say this is products because we are working on a product website and we also have like, I don't know, features and maybe we also add like a contact, uh, a way to contact just like that. So I know the alignment of these links right here isn't perfect, but um, for now, it's working kind of fine. Of course, you can also determine some rulers like 180 pixels. And also from this other side, 
you can say you want a ruler somewhere like here. Um, so what you simply have to do in this case is to find the right value, which is this, this one about here. And that means we can of course concentrate on getting the alignment right really easy. Just like that, okay. So now that's basically the header part. So this is like the top. And I want of course to work with an image that's why I'm simply slotting in such a photo that I downloaded from Unsplash. Um, so we can simply change the size like that. The top should be above our image. And this is basically the header, the hero image that we are going to work with. And you see that it's like a really cool image as it's showing um, the arm of this person with the, with the watch. Um, I would also like to add a really centered um, centered ruler as no not ruler sorry I was uh, telling or saying a ruler the whole time it's basically like a a line a slide to uh, get the right position so it's not the ruler the ruler is of course like these values at the top um, so we need the center which is at 720. Like about that. And now we can really align the photo. And I would like to align the watch, the Apple Watch, just like that. So this is going to be the header um, that we are going to work with. Then below this header, we are going to have a content area. So what you can do, of course, is to just create a rectangle to expand the content area to make it look like that. You could also, of course, uh, create a rectangle at the, like in this, uh, in this bottom position and create a mask basically like that. You, you create uh, the rectangle, it's below our hero image. And we can also say that this should be a mask. Maybe that's the better way to deal with that in this example. So imagine if I go full screen right here, imagine you are a user and you want to know what the website you maybe found on Google is all about. So as a UX designer, you need to make sure that the user has some orientation and that you can really like see what the website is about. So maybe it's like, it's showing up at this on the first site. So, you see like the name of the company, which is not really um, describing something. You see a couple of links there and you also see the main hero image. Um, I know that there are many users out there that, that wouldn't scroll down. I mean, you see like a bottom lip uh, of white down there. That means that you can scroll down. Um, but I know that there are many users who don't do this. So what you need to do is to uh, like tease them with some content right here. You need to show that there is something that they need to see by scrolling down. Um, I saw some like design templates that you can buy for a few bucks that show like a mouse. So you need to show them that there's some content available. Um, you can do that by creating a few cool things. Um, the first thing that you can do, of course, is to just place some content elements, like a few, for example, rounded rectangles, like about that, which aren't part of the mask, just like that. So maybe they are like about 50% on the hero image and also 50% on the actual background. So you can of course create a few of them just like that. Uh, yeah, this takes a moment for, for me, but um, we can of course uh, select all of them 
shrink them down to this size. And the cool thing is that we can even use uh, the Envision Craft plugin that I showed you for so many times. Uh, and I would like to, sh to see some, I don't know, let's say we want to see New York. So we can use them to place photos inside uh, each of these content containing elements. Oh uh, yeah. Download a photo, please. We don't get any photos. So uh, you can select like all of these different content um, containers and we are going to say we want people in there. So it's downloading them from Unsplash and you can do the same again if you don't like the photos that were selected in this uh, using the craft plugin. So basically what, I, what I'm just showing you is uh, you need to make sure that you have content right here, which is describing or which is showing the user that he or she should scroll down. So if we go back to our set like this, then you see that um, there is content showing at the bottom or popping up at the bottom and you want to see the whole image or the whole text which can be placed above these images. So that means you need to scroll down as a user and you see that you want to uh, use the website. So as I already said, you could add some like headlines into, into these photos. So we could say like, um, where to buy or something like that. So this is just of course for this video. where to buy. We want to ignore the mask. And basically what we now see is that there are ways to get the user to uh, really scroll down and that's what you need to think about when working with these hero images, which of course look really beautiful, which look like really nice. So basically that's what I wanted to show you in this video. What you need to consider when working with hero images, how you can set them in, in a beautiful way um, by also guiding the user. That's like a real, imp really important principle to guide the user that there is more content below and that he needs to scroll. Um, but by also giving them like a beautiful example of the product or of the work that you done and that you like offer to them. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you really learned a bit about working with these hero images and how to uh, place them. Sorry, my camera just keeps off like getting going off. Um, I hope you learned something. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumb up button and subscribe to the channel, of course. Thanks for your time, guys. This video was sponsored by Dev Mountain. If any of you are interested in learning UX design, Dev Mountain is a 12 week design bootcamp intended to get you a full time job in the industry. You can learn more about this at devmountain.com or by clicking the link in the video description. Thanks for watching the video and we see us in the next one. Bye!